Hello, in this video we're taking a look at updating the firmware for your Logitech webcam. In this case, today I have a Logitech webcam C930E. So I'm going to go to the Logitech website, simple enough. Now of course this website might change over time. The more uh, time that goes by, the more likely this website is going to change from the video that you're looking at. But the gist of what we're about to do shouldn't change all that much. I'm going to go to the Logitech website and click on support or highlight over support and then choose downloads. Traditionally, firmware is something you download. It's a one-time install on your camera and then that, at that point your camera's operating system is permanently updated. You think of it as sort of a hard coding your camera to the latest OS and it will store itself. Um, even though there's no hard drive per se, it's sort of flash ROM. The camera can actually store its own operating system. So with that in mind, uh, you want to first locate the camera that we're talking about. So I'm going to go webcams and camera systems, which obviously makes sense. Then from here, uh, Logitech really makes it easy because they let you identify your camera by sight as much as they do by name, and that really can help. So I believe that the one I'm using here is the webcam C930E. And if you're ever in doubt with what camera you have, a lot of times you won't see the branding or the serial number anywhere on the camera itself. Uh, if you've ordered through Amazon, sometimes just go to your Amazon history and then you can get the actual version there of the camera that you have. I know it sounds crazy, but um, sometimes you buy these things, two years go by and you don't even know what you bought. You're just looking at it. So anyway, here's the webcam C930E setup. Now there is an option here that shows you how to set up your camera uh, videos. I'd probably, as a good idea to watch those as well. But for this point, I'm just going to go to downloads. And I know I'm in the right place because it's the downloads C930E downloads. And then uh, again, they do a pretty good job of explaining what's about to happen here. Upgrades firmware for the Logitech webcam C930. Why update? Well, because it has bug fixes and general improvements. So as people find bugs or there's improvements that can be had with the same hardware, you can update the software and sometimes give yourself uh, almost a fresh camera in a way based on the software update. So this is 2.1.14.0. And the last update was fairly late or pretty recent to this video. We're in April 23rd today of 2020. This was updated 2019, uh, November 4th and it is compatible with Windows 10, which today's example is all about Windows 10 here. So I'm simply going to download that now. Now my camera is plugged in and available. So here, let me finish the download. I'm just gonna go to save as. I love to download to my desktop. That way I can delete the installer and I can kind of see exactly what I have installed and what I don't. So of course, these are fairly small pieces of software. Now I could click run right, right here but for the purposes of just being crystal clear, I'm gonna hide the website here and hide the screen I had before. And you'll see right here, hover over it and take a look. It says FW update C930 to 2.1.1.4.exe. So this is a little application. I'm gonna double click it. Again, the camera has to be plugged in in order for this to work, obviously, but some people will actually forget that step. They'll try to install firmware on a camera that isn't actually plugged in. So click yes and we'll continue. Now here is pretty traditional installer, um, what you'd see in almost any Windows installer. And now it's gonna launch the Logi firmware update tool. So this is the installer for the tool. Now we're gonna actually launch the tool itself and it should come up to the foreground and have a Logitech look and feel, which it does. And it does say here that the current version of the camera, now because the camera's plugged in, the software's smart enough to say, oh, you're using 2.0. Uh, 2.1 is now the update that's recommended. Your device does not have the latest firmware. So this is a good thing. That means that we're actually going to improve our camera today with this update. As simple as this is, uh, sometimes these little updates make a huge impact. So now I'll click update now. Now here is a final little agreement here, typical software stuff. And it's going to show you the operation uh, that's in taking place and the total progress. Now, here's really important to pay attention. They'll tell you this, but a lot of people don't read it. Please do not unplug the device or the power supply during this firmware update because it's in a state of flux. You don't want to unplug the camera because at this point you could permanently ruin, ruin the camera where it won't be able to start on its own with its own firmware. Now, I don't know if that's actually a reality these days, but you don't want to unplug it. But it does say here, update 2.1, up to date, update completed. Hooray, Today, total progress is done and I'll close it. 
So now I've just given my camera the latest firmware. So any bug fixes, uh, sometimes it improves performance. Sometimes it improves maybe even the way it handles lighting or the focus. All of those things could potentially be improved. But uh, generally speaking, when you have the opportunity to update the firmware, do so. So that concludes this lesson. Uh, keep in mind your camera could be different, but essentially the same principles apply. A lot of these hardware devices need to be updated. Their firmware um, and when a manufacturer updates firmware like this, it's a sign of a good manufacturer, someone who's really paying attention, trying to improve things all the time, getting customer feedback, listening to feedback, and then making changes and improvements along the way. But I'll tell you what, if you're one of these people that just updated your camera and you found my video, you're probably in the 0.0001 percentile because so few people know about this, so few people do it. Uh, they're just not that geeky, that not that detailed. So uh, you are not one of those people. So congratulations, give yourself a pat on the back. You've, uh, if you're actually taking this step and actually updated your firmware, uh, you can be proud that you're one of the few and the brave. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.